strong and independent na mga kasama ko dito sa set. Dahil, ano, um, ako, naging strong na lang ako. <laughs> naging na lang, di ba? Naging na lang siya along the way. Hindi ko naman yung tinatago yun dahil na lumaki naman ako sa sa lip, mga mata ninyo but when it comes to love. And then, I'm very proud sa kung ano yung kung saan ako nakatungtong ngayon dahil naging strong, naging um, mas independent, and mas in control ako sa feelings ko. And, di ba? <laughs> mas, uh, mas hinad, parang hinanda ako as years pass by. So, parang nagsimula ako sa mababa, so wala akong confidence, hanggang sa naging strong na parang, kaya ko naman pala pag ako mag-isa, parang masaya naman pala, hindi, hindi naman palang masamang maging ikaw lang, at ikaw yung happiness mo. Pero mas masaya kapag may ka-share ka ng happiness. So, I am very happy and gusto ko yung kinakausap ako kasi ako madaldala ko siyang absorber ko siya. Wow! Ako lang matawa. It's okay. Ako lang matawa. Nasa right siya ka hearing them. Oo, parang akala ko ako lang yung gano'n. Yung may gusto ko ng space, ayoko ng clean. Yung gusto ko na minsan ako lang mag-isa. Tama naman pala. So, yun, mahal mo muna yung sarili mo bago ka fully magpahay ng iba para maalam, maalam mo ang ibig sabihin ng love and self-respect and respect for one another. Hindi na. Hindi na. Hindi na. Ha, I knew it. Ha, ha, ha. Dati. Dita, Ethel. Thank you. Ngayon, alam mo na, ano, si Ian, ha? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you to Ethel. More questions, A. Yes, partner. Uh, our next question will come from another strong and independent woman. Kami pinangrap sa Year of the Dog, rather than Alexa Villano of Rap. Inalam mo, bago mo sa invite dito, inalam mo yung mga Year Year. Inalam mo. Ulap na. Ulap na trauma ka eh. Ayan, si Alexa is from Rap. Hindi nilang may tanong. Ito, pinunjaw siya ng teacher boy, pinak-check on sa lady ko ba ako magtanong. This is not actually the first time that it's a Philip that you are involved in a Filipino Chinese related story, and because you've done Mano Po, I believe Sir Boy did two, and I also did three, and Ms. Jado did two, so wow. I three, three also. So now, um, I just want to know because if the storyline in the previous move, in the previous one was a bit restricted and very restricted and very strict in characters per se, you know, this one how would you describe the characters? Because I think in your genre, it's not technically Filipino Chinese new character you know, from what I saw in the trailer. So, ah, uh, dito kasi Helen Chow. Filipino Chinese na ako pero hindi puro kaya yung um, naging boyfriend ko uh, si Zia sa character niya hindi kami nagkatuloy yan dahil uh, mas pinanindigan niya yung arranged marriage niya kesa dun sa relasyon natin so sa Mano Ho series you know, the first one uh, ano ano ba uh, asawa ko pero ako yung legal wife kaya na nabuhay yung ano yung line and ako ikaw wife sa Balintang Kapit lang yun. So, na, na, nagkaroon ng sequel siya sa Mano Po 3, Ako Ikaw Wife. Sa ano naman, sa 6 na which starts um, Sharon Coneta, kasama ko siya doon. Di ba naman very strict ang aunt ako um, nung mga anak ni Sharon. So, iba-iba. Pero basically, ganun na it involves uh, Filipino-Chinese uh, families. Yes, so, uh, sa mano po, no? Uh, marami ang kasawa din. Dito din. Hindi <laughs> 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 na nagpatupi. Alam kaya ang nasabi ni Ms. Shasha yung ako ang legal wife. So... Pero boy, at may maganda tayo kasi sa kasambawan. Where were we? Two ba tayo? Two pala kami. Sorry, mayroon po. Two. Yeah. Uh, meron kami very memorable scene doon na talagang nag, ano lang tayo, nag-fukin kami isang buong eksena. Isang buong scene. Yeah. Oh, and I had the... Uh, doon sa mga paano po, I was really pure Chinese. Here, ano, medyo half Chinese. Ano po. Lalo na nung, ano, lalo na nung karoon na siya ng business. He became very big. He became a tycoon. 
Ang scope nung Manobo was a little smaller. No, although he was rich also. The, the character. Adam Wong here is a tycoon. He's a billionaire. So, um, it's an empire. So, so ang scope to is a lot bigger, much bigger. And, uh, well, almost, it's not the same. The story is not the same. Definitely. Definitely. Although, yung background and premises Sawa, and then, but, but this one's a lot bigger, more complicated. Um, the last one, okay, I, going to the I'm going to ask you, the topic, direct, kasi, direct, yeah. andoy, direct Jerry, interesting yung pinag-uusapan, yeah. talagang makulay ang Filipino-Chinese uh, yeah. family and stories. Yeah. Have you, meron pa kayong ano, meron pa kayong pinag dito uh, as we go through the of the, the, the shoot, the, the shoot, the, the process ng pagkawa ng mga exam at direct. Pinag na particular na tao. It doesn't have, yeah. uh, ano ba, may pamilya ba kayong pinagkawa ito, tao, uh, inspiration siguro, like, um, we got inspiration from many films. Uh, ako personally, I got inspiration from, you've uh, watched some of those series. Of course, uh, I think all of them. And then, uh, Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> of okay, course. Uh, uh, um, makulay na makulay kasi talaga yung Filipino Chinese uh, culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, kasi kulay din naman ang Filipino culture. Parang gano'n. Um, in very interesting. Um, medyo may konting iba ang pag-iisip ng mga Pinoy, Chinois. Kumpala sa pure Pinoys. Uh, iba yung tingin nila sa business, sa love, sa kinyan. Ayun, marami. Ayun, yun yun yung mga. I got inspiration. Kasi wala akong pinay na particular. Tarik ang to, eh. Popular Chinese family, Filipino Chinese family, and then the Kuwaitis. It goes beyond it. Uh, mostly, you the, the typical Filipino Chinese community that is uh, Filipinas. Okay. Going back to you, Ms. Alexa. Okay. Um. Last, because is let's talk about the modern personalities because I think Siyun and Kim can probably answer this question because. There's already an evolution of the times, and as part of, well, as with, with backgrounds of Filipino Chinese, and in, in Senyo, um, what type of personalities will be seen now? Because compared to the films and the, the and shows that have portrayed families of Filipino Chinese, the Filipino Chinese are probably the modern teenagers and the, uh, adults of Filipino Chinese. So part of their being a Filipino Chinese, yes. ano yung makikita natin? Uh, similarities, similarities and differences are probably that's almost similar to past films that have already May ganun, meron ba ganun kayo yung ask? Ako, I'm portraying my role in this teleserye. Ako kasi in real life, I am the first family. My dad also has a lot of uh, wife. What the people wow. are gonna Pero kami yung, ako yung una, so it's kind of challenging for me to play the second family. Kasi parang sila yung parang hindi masyadong pinapansin. Eh, pero pinapansin sila ng papa ko. Oh, may bubog sa papa, hindi. Wala. Pero... <laughs> A fair din si daddy mo dun sa... Fair kasi din yung papa ko. Ano? Para si ano? Para siyang real uh, Adam. Adam, sorry. Para siya talaga, ito talaga yung nangyayari sa pamilya ng totoong Chinese family. Kaya nang pag tinitignan ko, pag nag-aarte kami, sabi ko, shucks, kawawa din pala yung mga anak ng papa ko. No? <laughs> yung mga ganun. Kasi kung pag first family, parang ikaw yung pinakamatapang. So, my character plays on the second family. Now I understand what are they feeling kung mga kapatid ka sa alam. The revelation yung inamin ni but in this tennis area, you can see what really happens inside a modern Chinese family. See, a part of your um, see David, my character here is David Chow, and I play um, modern Filipino Chinese. So um, the traditional, yun nga, yung mga way back then, medyo hindi pa kasi tanggap na, na merong first, second, third. But now, um, see si, si David, he 
dito tanggap na dito in in our world dito sa love thy woman and even now in our society i think it's uh, people are more open to to um, to admit that oh this is my half brother this is my half sister so yes um, me and miss shasha were in the modern side of things hindi na kami sobrang traditional and uh, and you know, we're, we're more we guess we grew up in singapore so yes kasi di ba miss naman dito na lalaman natin pag medyo yung hate na wala na pag inheritance na ano, lumalabas na marami pa na pero at least ito open si Adam okay go ahead eh yes partner ito ang susunod na magtatanong ay ang mahilig sa lalaking chinito <laughs> na kahawig ni Clark Kent ang pinanganak sa Year of the Rat si Alan Jones o babante tonight ako ko ba ayun <laughs> Tanong ko muna si Rufa, ang good kasi nung, parang yung ending nung trailer, ikaw yung may pasabog na papakilala mo yung anak mo na, na anak, anak din ni Papa Bo, bale. So isa ka rin sa mga kapit, Rufi. I can't tell you. you oh my gosh! Kaya nga may cliffhanger sa dulo, Alan. Ikaw ang panahonin mo sa Fedden kung bakit ako nandyan sa dulo. Ano ba sa ikwento pa, sir, yes daw eh. Pwede ikwento, ito na lang pausa ko today. May lusot ka, hindi mo makwento. Natalie, pero when you were offered ng Dreamscape na yun nga, ito kasama ka rito, tapos parang yun, ganun yung role, may anak ka, tapos ayun, may pasabog na ganun. Anong reaction mo? Excited na excited ako, una-una. We have a stellar cast. Ang mga kasamahan ko dito talaga napakahusay ng mga artista from our generation until the young generation. My dad, puring-puring si Kim Chu kasi magkasama sila sa ina, kapatid, anak. And hangang-hanga siya sa husay na pag-arte ni Kim. Hindi pa kami nagkakaroon ng eksena dito, pero ako, hinahanda ko na yung sarili ko. Ganyan siya kahusay. And si Yam, lately ko lang siya nakasama. And nakikita ko naman na napakahusay din niya. Very demanding ang kanyang role. So, I accepted it right away. Thank you so much, Rodeo. Thank you so much, Dreamscape and uh, for giving me this uh, privilege to be working in this kind of area. So, hindi mo pa masasabi kung ano, kung meron kayong intimate scenes? May anak ako na lalaki. Oo. You know, si Tito Boyet, um, actually, honey Boyet, kasi, <laughs> that he's seen me, kasi since I was three, naging leading man ko na siya in several films. So, hindi ko pwedeng sabihin, basta meron ako anak na lalaki dito, and my, my character is Amanda Del Mundo. She's very strong, ambitious, protege siya ni Ms. Yula Valdez um, in this story. And, uh, kailangan panuunin mo na lang yung mga pasabog ni Amanda. Okay. Medyo tricky ba yun? Ano, yun sa trailer rooms, medyo tinikinik lang ng ang viewers. I don't know. Well, I think it's to entice them to continue to watch. Kasi, akala nyo, sila lang nagkakagulo, pero meron pa pala ang kwento, may dagdag kwento pala. So, magagaling ako out of nowhere and out of somewhere, and bigla akong makikigulo with them. Yun. Okay, kay Papa Bo naman. Papa Bo, ayan. Diba? Ayun. It's good to see you, Papa Bo, na nasa isang ganitong drama. Sa prime time. Ay, hapon pala. Pakapon to, no? He called, yes. Oo. Tapos, um, kanina na nalang kami ng, ng trailer, Papa Bo, ang reaction namin ni, ano, ni Tita Ed, ay talagang, talagang para sa'yo talaga yung role. Eh. Talagang, sa edad na 63 years old, talagang, so, parang, uh, parang mag-agawang ka ng mga babae, parang kapanipaniwala talaga, eh, di ba? Up to now, napaka-guapo, napaka-fit. Uitip kasi. <laughs> di ba? Talagang mag-agawang ka talaga ng mga babae. So, how do you feel to be back sa ganitong klase ng genre na kasi ganyan nag-aagawan mga babae sa'yo ba ba? Ah, sa'yo na ako. Kailangan. Marami na ako nag-uwang movies. Marami na ako nag-uwang movies and all that. But, no, 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 kidding aside. Um, this one is very, um, what do you call it? An important project for me. Um, yung kasi siya yung patriarch no? and it all falls down on his lap lahat ng mga problema falls down on his lap and you know he, you to deal with 
uh, situation in his life, Adam's life. Uh, okay, sabihin ko na rin, no? Para hindi na ako malito. Kasi my first wife is, like, the first wife of Adam is Lucy. She's played by uh, uh, Madam Julia. Uh, yung family niya didn't like me. Because I'm half breed, tama. Because I'm half breed. Parang ano ako eh, uh, Chinese, Spanish <laughs> type. <laughs> Parang Chinese Filipino. Um, and then, uh, so after that, we had a little, kami, nag naging cold just sa amin for a while. And then, yeah, because something happened yan. Because, it, yeah, and she was, she and was so was depressed. Really she was very depressed. And then, at the same time, we were cursed. We were cursed. cursed. Okay? Can I say that? Okay. Yeah. We were cursed by the Father. The union was cursed. So, you know, um, I met uh, Kai, played by this Sunshine. And she was a very caring and uh, very makasikaso type. So, minahal, minahal ko sila. Minahal ko sila. But, uh, <coughs> Eventually, yung relationship namin ni Kai was more of yung because of our our daughter, which is played by Kim Chu, Kimi. Uh, so, ano siya, very complicated na yung, naging complicated yung situation because of the situation. Because they were, the, the family, my, our family was cursed by the dad. And so, ano nagulo na lahat. No, it was not Adam's fault, but ang masarap kay Adam, pinaninindigan niya lahat ng mga desisyon niya sa buhay. That, yun, yung, yun, yun yung character ni Adam. So lahat ng itawan niya. So he became a tycoon because he was talagang stern in his beliefs. Uh, so, ano nangyari? Nagkaroon siya na. Uh, Nagkaroon ng, sa background, nagkaroon ng complications. Sa background ng business, wala namang problema sa business, but nagkaroon sa family. Sure, did I answer? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, Papa Paul. Gusto ko tayo nangyayang mga first time naka-working, 